most hurtful thing is that it's the way it happened and how can it how they could just take a damn life and cover it up like as if nothing happened just just fuck us because the color of our skin yeah. oh fuck them they ain't nothing we not nothing to them like they are not for us yeah. I, I, don't, I don't care what nobody say them white people ain't for us they are not for us they don't give a damn about us and, and that's just that. They system you know, is not designed for us. Not for us you at all. That's why we gotta get power. It takes 273 years before we can catch up with them. They got all the wealth and the glory. So we start taking that wealth and the glory that they took from us 275 years, we'd be the most richest people on this earth. That's right, that's right. You understand? We gonna get it. We had the White House built with gold. The White House we built out of gold, not white. So that's how much gold they took from us. Everything. Yeah. They took our mind. They took everything from us. That's why we got to get power. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Black, Black is back. Black, Black is back. All day long. Yeah, just the whole to Washington, D.C. And we going to do it. November 5th, yes. November 6th. Yes. And they should find out more about uh, the Black is Back Coalition. Join the Black is Back Coalition. And the Black is Back Coalition is a number of organizations that come together uh, as a coalition to fight for uh, social justice. My name is Kobina Bantushango. I'm a uh, member of the African People's Socialist Party. And we're here for the Black is Back uh, Coalition uh, Conference. Black is back. Black, All black the way. Black is black. And black let me tell you about black. this black thing, this new black thing. We about pulling our people out of the quicksand. When you run across us and try to push us in, we got a strong limb like this man and this man to pull you up out the quicksand. So that's what we do. That's why we say black is back. Black, black, black is rule. black. Rule. Rule. Oh. Oh. Have, my name is L.A. Clayton. Black is Black Coalition is having a national conference. In, in D.C., we're going to march on, on the White House uh, in D.C. on November the 5th and 6th. And we call on everybody, every African, to come. And in Huntsville, Alabama, uh, some, of, some of them are from New York, uh, New Jersey. But we come out of Huntsville, Alabama, where uh, in June uh, there was a, a white uh, man, Jonathan, Jonathan Scott, that murdered a 16-year-old boy that was on his way to school. Uh, murdered him uh, in cold blood, shot him in the back, in the back of the head as he as he ran away from him. And from that, our uh, mass organization, International People's Democratic Yahoo Movement, organized the Justice for Mustafa Committee. And here we have represented his grandfather, we have his auntie and and, and his mother here, uh, uh, Shamika, and uh, they all represent representatives of Impedum and the Justice for Mustafa Committee as we wage uh, a campaign to fight to get justice uh, for Mustafa and say not one more African child uh, is going to be taken from us in his way and we have to organize to take power and to stop uh, the state from attacking us uh, on a consistent basis and allowing and setting the, the president for uh, uh, just any old white uh, man to be able to, uh, to, to kill our kids in cold blood and we saying that we have, we have to not only demand that but we have to organize ourselves to have the power to stop them and, and guarantee that our children gonna have a future like anybody else should. How you doing? <clears throat> um, Felicia Clayton, I'm Mustafa Bearfield's aunt. Um, like he said, on June 21st, this white man had murdered my nephew. They got him, they charged the man with manslaughter, which is impossible. He chased my nephew down and shot him in the back of the head. It was no items found. They were saying that um, he took something from them. It was nothing found. He didn't take nothing. That was their story. They covered up a lot of stuff. We went to see the lieutenant's office, and he was trying to say that the man was so remorseful. That's why he was charged with manslaughter. No, there's no way in hell that he should have been charged with manslaughter. He chased a 16-year-old African black boy down to, and, and killed him at the next corner. He was already at one corner. He walked all the way down and killed him at the next corner. Shot him in the back of the head. And it was nothing that was by him, nothing present that he took. I just think that my nephew, like they said, he was walking past the vehicle and he saw him and he assumed that he took something, which he didn't have anything, and he chased him down. But that was their story. The cop said that the man only shot at him six times, the last one caught him in the head. He shot at him to scare him. He shot over his head. Which was a damn lie. And we found out from the news and from his friends that the man shot out nine times. And the last one supposedly had killed him. 
And you know, the lieutenant told us the six time crap, but when we went to the scene and everything, we see that the, the, the numbers go up to nine as far as the shells. We, 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 know, we know the truth, not all of the truth, but we know that they telling a the damn lie. Plain and simple, we just want justice for Mustafa. This man had a $20,000 bail and he was out the next day. Back to work like ain't shit happened. Yeah. And, you know, he could go home to his family and, oh, he was remorseful. No. Uh, and you can't be remorseful killing somebody. Nah. How? Nah. If you was trying to scare him, one shot in the air would have did anything for anybody. You could scare anybody like that. One shot straight in the air. You shot at him. And you shot at him multiple times. That means you had the intent to kill him. It was the intent. It wasn't no mistake. It wasn't, oh, because I'm trying to scare him. No, no, you tried to kill him. Anytime you aim for someone's head and you shoot them multiple times and you at one stop sign and you and he gets killed at the next stop sign, you chase him down. But their story is that no, he didn't chase him. It was one fluke shot from this corner and it flew all the way down to the next stop sign and it killed him. And that was a damn lie. They couldn't show us no items that he took. They said the items were unknown. Um, you know, it's just a big, big ass lie. A big lie. My sister wasn't able to view his body at first. They took him straight to the, the morgue, right? Yeah, to like the straight corner. To, the, to the corner first and then went to um, Alabama State Forensic. Yeah, you know, they, they, they try to, they cover up. On the spot. They, they, they cover, the they covering up a lot yeah, for good, this uh, guy. Yeah. They covering up a lot Even for him and we gonna get justice. Trying to say good things about the man. Yeah, he resuscitated him and all the stuff. He didn't do that. Yeah. He didn't son, do it. My son had here. blood coming out of his nose yeah. and slob spit coming out of his mouth. He didn't resuscitate my son. He was covering, trying to cover his ass. That's what he was doing. He turned my son over. He knew he killed he my son. He knew he, he killed my son. Body. And then when the police came, because it's the same story from what the um, prosecutor saying. I said, oh, you telling me this? And that's the same thing the investigator said. So y'all all just listen to this one man's story because my son cannot say anything because he is mm -hmm. dead. That's it. Yep. No. And it's messed up. Yep. And I'm mad as hell and I want justice. Right. I want them, to, Jonathan Scott, you need to feel how I'm feeling. You need to lose everything that you have. You need to lose your life as well. Yep. Okay. Yes. Okay. And then I wanted to say, yep. let me see. Here you go. My name is Shamika Williams. I'm Mustafa Bearfield Jr.'s mother. Um, it was two. It was a teacher and a secretary from Pinnacle Schools in Huntsville, Alabama. They saw Jonathan Scott on Bridge Street with his wife, and she was telling him to get in the car. He did not get in the car. He was talking to the teacher, and he was telling the teacher he aimed directly at my son while he was shooting. He also said he did not do CPR. And he also said that um, the reason why they gave him the manslaughter is because he's mentally ill. But Jonathan Scott said that he wasn't. Then he asked where my son was buried at. That's crazy as hell, you bastard. And another thing is that he emptied his whole clip. It's not me the middle of bullet in back of my son's head. You know what I'm saying? And on the, on the things that he was talking to the teacher and the secretary about is that he don't know what my son took. So you killed my son for nothing? You killed my son. You took my son's life. I cannot see my child anymore. Nothing. I can't see my baby. I can't see my baby. I miss my son. I love my son. And I'm going to get justice for my son. Justice for Mustafa. Justice for Mustafa. Justice for Mustafa. Justice. Yeah. Justice and, that, and that's what we that's what that's what we gonna get. We gonna and fight till we get justice for Mustafa. Yes. And, and that's who that's who we are. And we're gonna organize and how long it takes, we're here for the long haul. And we say justice for Mustafa. Justice for Mustafa. Touch one. Touch one. Touch one. Different, different issues, issues and concerns. And concerns. I'm finding, I'm so, finding many so many different, different mentality, mentality today. It, it, seems hard. Seems hard. it seems hard. It seems it seems challenging. I don't say it's hard because the only thing hard is the concrete that we walk on. Everything, everything else, else is a challenge. Else is a challenge. Um, um, so, so, so I'm ready.